Hey guys. Hey guys. I just wanted to give you a little update on uh, um, world epidemic. We are safe. Uh, we're in a pretty good place. It has changed our plans. It has kind of affected us. But. So today is March the 30th. It's Monday. We're together. And that's, that's the main, the main thing. thing. We, uh, well, I was lucky to escape Australia before lockdown, before they stopped um, international flights. I was uh, working away at the time to try and top our kitty up. Um, at least I'm back here, so we're together, but we're, everything's shut down where we are, and we're in Malaysia at the moment. It's an island called Langkawi, and then we're actually off of that island on a little island on a marina um, called Rivac. So we're in a pretty good spot. There's not that many people on the island. Um, we are, as you can see, the top is out of the water, so it's not ideal. We got hauled out two, three days before the lockdown came into effect. Um, they're actually on a level four lockdown here. Yeah. Which means a no or non-movement lockdown. Yep. The only things open is the supermarket. Which is very heavily stocked. So um, that's one thing I know for us back home being Australia, uh, the supermarkets are empty, people are fighting over toilet paper. The mayhem representing a quantum leap and the anxiety levels sweeping the country. Uh, we haven't had any of those issues. <laughs> no. Nah. So. Yeah. so we've we've pretty much provisioned the boat once we can get put back in. Um, we're not entirely sure what's going to happen because, as you all know, a lot of borders or a lot of countries are closed to cruises coming in. Um, the probably the one plan that we we may do is sail back to Australia. Um, we are Australian residents, so we'll be allowed to get back in there. And we aren't that far away. We, it is possible to sail back. So that's kind of a bit on the. We're not sure what's going to happen, but that could be a possibility at this point in time. And the kids are safe and well as well. They're up in the boat. We just had a swim. But yeah, there's, there, we went into town with provision. Okay, so today we're going into town. Uh, we haven't been over into town since uh, the lockdown, so we're not sure what to expect, but everyone's said pretty much there's plenty of food and everything's fine, so we'll go over. We'll take you guys with us, see what happens. Way into town, we're gonna go to Kua, uh, which is about a half an hour drive. We'll show you the roads. We, this is our first time being over since the lockdown, so we're not sure what to expect. There's been no sign of panic yet. The Malaysian government is enforcing the lockdown, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people are staying in their houses. Um, they were bringing the military in. Everyone seems to have masks on that are on motorbikes. This is the first time I've worn one of these masks so far. And I was just trying it on. I think they're the best because I can breathe pretty easily. <laughs> Everyone keeps complaining out that they're breathing. I don't think they, they're going to stop much coming in. It might double up. But we did hear something that you have to wear them in the shop, so we're not sure. We'll see when we get there, I guess. Still cars on the road. Still a few little restaurants going. There's food like, back there. There's food open. I don't know. There's, there's definitely less people around and things are shop that if you're not food, but. You're safe now. That's it. No Ooh. one can get your corona. <laughs> I guess it's necessary. <laughs> goober tuba. You feel like a goober or I feel like a goober? You've already worn it traveling on the plane, haven't you? We just went through, well, usually you come into the parking thing and I've been meaning to film it like the entire time that we've been here. It's really funny, it says, Please take the parking ticket. But it sounds like, please take your <laughs> Anyway, I'll bleep that out because that was irresponsible, but it was funny. And now they took, they turned it off because they don't want anyone touching tickets or money. So we don't have to pay our one ringgit anymore. They come shopping. <laughs> so there's a bonus. All right, so we're in the shop. It's pretty quiet, um, but there is definitely plenty Toilet paper. Oh, that's not toilet paper. Definitely that is. Not in Oz, are we? <laughs> and so you can tell we're not in Australia right now. All the toilet paper. But yeah, this shop is definitely not low on anything and it's pretty quiet. Huh, breathe again. 
So that was pretty successful. The only thing I didn't have was bananas. And they can be hit and miss sometimes anyway. So hopefully there's a store on the side of the road that has bananas. But oh, I think we were the ones buying the most in the shop. <laughs> it's just our usual like once a week or once a fortnight shop. But it's usually pretty big. We're also stocking up the boat slowly to leave because we don't know when that is going to happen. But we're always prepared to leave. Where every time we go to the shops, I don't know if every boat does this, but it's usually kind of a bit of a provision. You go, oh, well, you know, you never know. We might leave well, tomorrow. Well, we usually try for like two weeks anyway, even when we're on the land like now. Yeah. So yeah, um, our trolleys are usually full. So They yeah. are. So yeah, we've been like slowly stocking the boat way before this happened because we were always going to leave. <laughs> well, we were hoping we were going to leave. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, also with... Lee's work, he, he was flying back and forth filling up the kitty. Um, and fortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, he was back on a break uh, when this all happened. So thank God he got here and we weren't separated. That was a bit of a worry. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I was in Australia at the moment. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, work is on hold at the moment. So we're back full time cruising. <laughs> <laughs> on the land <laughs> like they don't seem panicked over here which from what we've seen in the media for other countries they're pretty panicked so we don't know if that's delayed yet or yeah. we are in hopefully a few borders do open back up because uh, this time out of the water means that there's been plenty of jobs getting done so Catalpa is going to be in pretty fine form ready for a new adventure we're only going to repaint the bottom. A lot of people are asking why Catalpa's been hauled out again so quickly. Last year, um, when we got here, we were really far behind with videos. So everyone kind of thinks that we only hauled out Catalpa a few months ago, but it's actually been a year since we've hauled out. And um, all we were going to do this time was repaint or do the antifowl and replace our seacocks. Um, but we got hauled out and three days in, yeah, we got told that they're shutting the closing the marina. Um, most of the staff has left here, so we won't be able to get put back in the water for at least two weeks. They've now extended that lockdown until the 14th of April. Um, so we've kind of just got to wait, sit and wait it out. And hopefully we can get put back in the water on the 14th of April. That's the plan at this stage. Um, so yeah, we just kind of hanging out doing jobs that we weren't going to do because <laughs> we were only planning on being out for a week or so but um yeah we've done a few things yeah. extra jobs that we're never going to get done are getting done so it's a it's a good thing the other things we were a little bit concerned about was um i'd flown in and you get a 90-day visa on arrival here in uh malaysia um sarah's got about two weeks left or less than two weeks so we have got word now that all visas will just be extended so um or they're not worrying about them or they're not worrying about the visas at the moment so that was one concern for us so yeah the next lock like this lockdown ends on the 14th of april and our the kids and my visa expire on the 12th so if yeah, for some reason we have to leave straight away. I mean, for starters, they're going to have to put us back in the water. Can't go back in at the moment. It's got no through holes in it. The thing will sink. <laughs> so we're hoping that there isn't an, a visa, isn't a visa, there isn't a visa issue <laughs> when it comes to uh, all of this kind of thing over. But again, this could all be extended as well. It got extended another two weeks, so we're not so, sure. So it is, it is pretty scary times for a lot of people in all different types of situations. We've got friends in Thailand that just got in before they locked down. We've heard other stories where people have um, got to their next port and were not allowed off their vessel, weren't allowed to quarantine on their vessel and were told that they'd be moved on with force. Um, so yeah, we're just grateful that we're actually in a safe place and we're all together and we have food supplies and um, nothing too dramatic happening that side for us at the moment so yeah, yeah. well it's not ideal to be out of the water um, it is kind of we are in a pretty good spot so yeah 
that's lucky. Uh, really the only difference, because a lot of people kind of probably aren't sure of what, why, you know, what's the difference from being out of the water or being in the water is, um, the biggest thing pretty much is, is the toilet. We don't have a toilet on board. We've got to walk down to a toilet block, which is like if you're camping, <laughs> you live in a caravan, I guess. Um, and an outside shower set up. We yeah. do have amenities, but it's so hot here. It's so hot. We just shower downstairs outside anyway. You missed the spot. Oh, <laughs> what a view. <laughs> that's all that's kind of different. It's way hotter out of the water for us. The afternoon sun heats up the boat and the aircon isn't working as good, so it's kind of a bit more uncomfortable. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it is, we're still in the same place. We're in the same marina that we were or that I have been for a while. Happens. It's kind of all out of our hands at the moment. We just wanted to jump on and say, you know, let you all know that we're safe and we're happy and we have each other. And, you know, couldn't ask for much more other than being in the water. Couldn't ask for anything else. <laughs> Guys, well, we just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching this. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for um, always being there and supporting us. If you have any questions, you want to ask us anything, um, we didn't answer just now. <laughs> you can, uh, you probably can't comment on here pretty sure you're probably not allowed to comment on here it's not our doing just reminding you all we didn't choose that this this is youtube not allowing us to have comments don't know how to fix it still haven't got into that issue so if you want to comment either find us on social media send us an email go over to our website sign up to the newsletter you can do a lot of things you can uh, comment on a post that i'll put on youtube even you can do that i can make a post you can comment on there so Okay, guys, so, um, yeah, we just wanted to let you know where we're at. Um, that's it. Um, hope that's sort of informed you guys on what's been going on. And, um, yeah, just everyone stay safe and hopefully you're with your family, friends and loved ones and um, we all get through this. And uh... We love you guys and our videos will continue. We're going to keep sailing, keep cruising. If we end back in Australia, then we're going to go somewhere that we've never been before. So, um, yeah, subscribe, like this video, <laughs> and uh, we will see you soon with some of our hard dock jobs. I think the next video will probably be Lee taking all our through holes. Oh, blood, sweat and out. tears. It was fun. I think he loses his shit in this one. I, huh. think, I think he has a little bit of a, oh, cracks it. And I don't often catch those on video, so this is a little bit special. <laughs> Everyone thinks he's like, calm oh, cucumber. Well, it's no. stressful times, like, <laughs> you know, gets the better of us sometimes. <laughs> Just shows you're human, honey. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's what's coming up. Uh, we'll keep videoing, we'll keep updating you, but Sailing Catalpa is safe and happy and well, and we are still on the boat. We may be stuck in a foreign country, but we're okay. All right. We love you guys. Stay safe out there. See you guys.